Hey everybody, welcome to LessonsWithTroy.com. I'm Troy Burning Meyer. Well, real quick, I just wanted to show you um, how to download and save my lessons to an iPhone. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is to download an app called Filer, F-I-L-E-R. So go to your app store, and I've already got it here, but if this is the first time you're looking for it, just go to the top here and type in F-I-L-E-R, and I'll show you real quick what it looks like. Okay, you've got Filer Lite, that's the free version, and that may work. You may wanna just try that first before you buy it. But um, if that doesn't work, you may wanna try this version that I've got. It's just, uh, you know, it costs a few bucks, uh, and it's just called Filer, and it looks like that. I've already bought it and downloaded it. So um, go ahead and hit your home, but home button at the bottom, and that'll take you back to here. Now, we don't have to open up Filer yet. What you wanna do is after you go to my site and buy and pay, for, you know, buy the lesson that you want or lessons that you want. Go to your email. So I've got this demo email hooked up here. And let's say we open it up. It should look something like this. Um, this would be the email with the subject heading download keys. Um, there is another email you might get that's an invoice email. And I believe that looked like this. Okay. Where. You know, it has your, um, it's more the invoice there. But let's just go back to the other one right here. And so what you want to do is where it says download URL or where it says click here to download your lesson, this is going to take you back to my site. So go ahead and click that. And that's going to take you back to my site. Notice this gray box here where it says click here to download your lesson. Okay, so what you want to do on an iPhone is just hold your finger down on that gray box. I'll show you again. Just put your finger there and hold it down. You'll get these different options that come up. You want to choose copy. Okay, so now we want to hit our home button there at the bottom of our iPhone. Oops. And now we want to open up the Filer app. So I've got mine in here. So let me go ahead and open up Filer. And down here at the bottom, what you want to do is you want to hit get link. Now, because we just copied that, um, off my website that's automatically put into this bar up here. So we don't need to do anything, you know, with that. If that were to be um, empty, you can just tap on it once and choose, hit paste, and that pastes that link in there. And then all you got to do is just hit download. Okay, now once you do that, look at the bottom here where it says transfers. It's got the up and down arrow. Go ahead and hit that, and that's shows you how long it's going to take to download that lesson. Empty spaces, that's the name of the lesson, .zip. That's the type of file we're downloading. So I've already downloaded this, so we don't need to go through that. Now what you want to do is hit Files. And these are the lessons that I've downloaded to my phone, just as examples. Now these are in zip format, right? What we want to do is we want to what's called unarchive it. Real simple to do that, just tap on it once. And this will come up, unarchive. Just hit that. And then this will open up that zip file, and it'll show you then what's contained within that zip file normally. Um, you know, the tablature, the full movie lesson, any jam tracks or performance tracks will be in there. Okay, so now that we've got that unarchived, you'll notice now we've got, um, it looks like we've got a folder that says empty spaces. And when we click on that, that's going to be the one that we want to click on. Okay, let, let me show you these others. This Mac OS X folder, you don't even need that. So I like to hit the edit button up here in the top right and select that. And I immediately delete that because we don't need that. So we just choose it and delete it. And these others, um, those are the zip files, um, like this empty spaces.zip. That's the original file. You could delete that if you wanted to open up some more space on your phone. I'm not going to mess with that right now, but let's go ahead and click on the folder. It says empty spaces. Um, now, if you want to open up the jam track, just click jam tracks, movie lesson. And each one of those is um, folders has a different part of the lesson. Now, see where it says .ds store? You don't need that. So let's click edit and delete that just so it doesn't confuse you. So we delete that. And let's say we wanted to watch the movie lesson. We just click that where it says movie lesson. And there is our lesson. 
Okay, let's say we wanted to open up the tablature and print it. Okay, here's what you want to do where it says tablature. Just click on that. Now what you want to do is you want to hold your finger down on that, that tab, the name of the tab, right? So just hold your finger down and you get all these options that come up. So you would just hit the print option and then choose your wireless printer if you have a wireless printer. And that's the way you would um, do that. Otherwise, you can just open the tablature and you can view it, you know, without um, printing it. And then you can listen to the performance track. It's the MP3 there. Okay. We won't go through all that. But yeah, and like I said, if you wanted to delete any of these, that it looks like the little box, right, that, where it says Zip Archive. Not the blue folder, but the Zip Archive. If you ever wanted to delete that, just hit Edit, choose that, and then choose Delete there at the bottom. I'm not going to do that right now. But that's how you would delete that to open up a little bit more space on your phone. Okay, I hope that helped you, and uh, you know now how to download my lessons to your iPhone. Thanks. See you on the next lesson.